गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स बैक विद अनदर प्रॉब्लम ऑन एल्जेब्रिक इक्वेशंस शेयर वी गो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी एग्जांपल नंबर 3 लेट्स डू इट वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वन एज इट इज बेस्ड ऑन इमेजिनरी रूट्स रादर कैलकुलेटिंग द टोटल नंबर ऑफ इमेजिनरी रूट्स ओके सो वी हैव गॉट एन एल्जेब्रिक इक्वेशन इन फ्रंट ऑफ आवरसेल्फ वी नीड टू शो दैट इट हैज एट लीस्ट फोर इमेजिनरी रूट्स ऑलराइट लेट्स राइट द इक्वेशन डन ओके there are two investigations that you guys need to carry out the first investigation is you have to work out f of plus x right simply replace x with plus x what will happen sir nothing will happen no change will be there the entire equation will be of the same form okay if you watch this x to the power 7 has got positive sign this 3 to the x to the power 4 has got negative sign so let me write term by term signs okay plus minus then plus and minus how many changes you can observe sir this is going to be the first change this is going to be the second change from minus to plus and again from plus to minus so there are as many as three changes the idea is to uh, link this with a property and that property is let me just show this to you very quickly the property says the equation f of x equal to 0 cannot have more positive root than the changes of sign how many changes of sign that you observed sir uh, in f of plus x we encountered as many as three changes this essentially means f of x cannot have more than three positive roots when you go for plus x please remember the number of sign changes determines the total number of positive roots basically here there were three changes in sign so you can say very very confidently that sir uh, we cannot have more than three positive roots cannot have more than three positive root, that roots that means three is the maximum number of positive roots you guys can have secondly go for f of minus x when you put a negative value over here these are the odd powers here the signs are going to change as you can see this 2x cube now has a negative sign this x to the power 7 now has a negative sign okay now arrange all of these signs in proper order so we observe sir there are no changes absolutely no changes that means zero negative roots okay remember these things uh, this this property is very very important and now what you need to do is uh, remember this is the degree degree happens to be 7 and whatever the degree is that qualifies as the number of roots so here the degree is 7 number of roots are going to be 7 those roots can be classified into real category as well as the imaginary category let me write that <clears throat> real plus imaginary and even in the real zone you've got positive roots and you've got negative roots so that's why p plus n now the things are going to be very simple you just need to plug in the value of the number of roots the number of roots obviously is the degree over here that is 7 7 is equal to 3 plus 0 plus the imaginary roots and you are going to get the value of number of imaginary roots as 4 at least please you have to write this four at least okay <clears throat>